Hello my friends, it is I back at it again with the dog sitting duties. If you guys watched my video last week, you already know that I got a new lens recently. I just got a little something to tell you guys though. So this video is not going to be anything serious, but with me getting a new lens and you know, let's, let's talk about new gear, alright? I feel like people have this misconception that you need to have the top most upgraded equipment if you guys want to be the best in whatever it is that you do. So in my case, doing videography or photography, or for example, if you want to be a, the best singer, you have to have the best mic. That's not necessarily true. See, I'm not gonna lie. I used to be one of those people that would look around and every time people around me had better equipment, I'd be like, oh damn it, they're gonna do a better job than me, create something nicer. I'm surrounded by all these people who are constantly upgrading their equipment. And I personally feel like when people are constantly upgrading their equipment, it's actually debilitating. No carpet. No, no biting. Yeah, I have nothing against people who have good equipment. I honestly think that if you have dope equipment, then good on you, you deserve it 100%. I am more so talking about the people who, you know, every time there's an upgrade, they're the ones to upgrade their equipment. I think that always getting the hottest and newest equipment is actually debilitating to the process of getting better as an artist. When I talk about this, I'm speaking strictly about like photography and videography. I feel like if the first thing you do is upgrade your equipment every time there's new equipment, then maybe there's an issue. Personally, I feel like working under restriction is the best thing for you to do. If you are working with not the best equipment, chances are you're gonna come into a lot of issues where you're like, oh, I can't produce what I wanna produce as easily as I can. And if that's the case, then that's not a bad thing. I think it is much more beneficial to try to find a way to navigate your weaknesses. So for example, you can't afford a stabilizer, you can't afford a dolly or something. You've seen people putting towels under their camera on top of a table and sliding it so they can get the most stable footage. Like things like that, I feel like learning how to work around your restrictions is what's really gonna help you expand your mind and be more creative, which is what this industry is kind of all about. So I personally don't think that having the nicest gear is always gonna help you out with creating the best results. I think this video and this talk has more to do with the people that, you know, they, they run into a wall, they run into something that they can't do, and the first thing they think of is, okay, I need to buy something new. I need to buy something that can do better. You know, learn to navigate restrictions and learn to overcome them, because if you guys don't do that, then you're always gonna be in this mentality of needing to buy new things instead of how can I how can I overcome this obstacle and become better? At the end of the day, like screw the gear, you don't need the gear. You are honestly better off as somebody who doesn't have the totally best gear and knows exactly how to use whatever gear it is that you have. Because at the end of the day, somebody who has not the greatest gear but knows exactly how to use it and knows how to navigate all their all their obstacles is gonna be 100% better than somebody who has all the newest gear and very little knowledge of how to use it. So that is the message of the day and I just wanted to pop in and you know, share that with you guys. This is something that's been on my mind. So you know, don't look around and be discouraged. If people around you have better equipment, don't think that that means they're gonna be better than you. You guys are equal because we're in a creative space and we're all trying to help each other grow. So until next time, if that helps you guys at all, if you guys have ever had this feeling, let me know in the comments below. And before I go guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications and let's continue to learn together. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.